In this video, you'll learn how to create shared topology in SpaceClaim upon the transfer of geometry to ANSYS Mechanical. Shared topology can be used to connect parts geometrically rather than connecting them by contact or in the mesh. Connected geometry will generate a connected mesh. I'll start with a surface model where some of the edges are extended to touch adjacent parts. As you can see, there are extended surfaces in a number of places. I'll hide all other surfaces to show that there is no imprinting of the touching edge into this surface. Shared topology will address this. Now I'll restore the hidden surfaces. To use shared topology, I click on the component, then I change the value of shared topology to share. This will not have an obvious effect in space claim, but upon transfer to ANSYS Mechanical, the effect will be clear. If I want to preview the effect that shared topology will have, I can select Show Contact. Free edges are shown in red, and contact is shown in blue. Note that the geometry has not been changed yet, but it has been prepared for ANSYS Mechanical. Now I'm ready to transfer my space claim geometry to ANSYS Mechanical, so I'll click to launch Workbench. Workbench has created a geometry system. I'll add a modal system and click to edit the model cell. This will transfer the geometry into Mechanical. I'm going to take a closer look at my geometry in Mechanical. If I expand the geometry node, I can see that it's all one multi-body part with many parts in it. Now if I go back to the model node, I can color edges by connection as shown. This allows me to see that edges are now shared between components. I can also see that imprints have been created. These imprints were not created in space claim, but rather they were created upon transfer to mechanical. I can get a better look at the various imprints that were created if I hide all other bodies. That concludes this demonstration of how to create shared topology in space claim upon the transfer of geometry to ANSYS Mechanical.